Thank you for having me here and I am super excited to meet you all and talk to you more about Butternut AI and what you are building in AI. So before I start, I want to know like how many of you are marketers here? Okay, and how many of you are coders? Okay, and since we live in SF, I'm sure at one point or the other, you know, you have gone to a hackathon. So have you ever participated in a hackathon? Great. Good to know that. You know what? The general notion about uh, going to a hackathon is you must be a builder. That means you must be a coder. But this recent tweet by Vinod Khosla says otherwise, where in the age of AI, we don't really need coders right now. And at a recent coding event, uh, at a recent coding hackathon, the winner was a marketer, not a coder. So this is what AI is doing. It is changing how the world used to behave. So now, this is what they are predicting, that there could be a billion programmers all programming in natural language. That means the day is not far where everybody of you in this room will be a coder by default because you can just tell the system what you want and it will build it for you and you can iterate from there. In fact, the person who is bearing the weight of the entire stock market on his shoulders thinks so as well. So I'm the co-founder of Butternut AI. Butternut AI is a generative AI tool where you can build your websites in under 20 seconds with just prompts. So we are building the future of, you can say coding, starting with websites. Well, before I show you what we have built, how many of you have built a website for yourself or for your client? In your and what did you use to build it? WordPress? What else? Okay. Notion? Okay. And how much time in general did it take you? I see somebody saying a lot. <laughs> That's right. And how much did it cost you? Maybe a couple of thousand dollars. <laughs> That's what my friends have paid. Like I was talking to somebody who paid $80,000 to get his startup website up. Well, not anymore. So let me show you what we are doing at Butternut AI. Well, you are the first people here to see our new version. This hasn't been launched yet. So if you go to butternut.ai, that's a previous version. But I would love to showcase you this new version and get your feedback. So how about we build a website and see what our AI brings for you? So would anybody would like to try a business for their website? Like I, I see a hand raised. Yes. Uh, okay. This is called Savvy Code. I think you do want to see And tell me more about the business. Maybe a few keywords. Yeah, CRM and phone system. And phone? Phone system. Phone system. Okay. Okay. Let's give it some instructions to generate. So as we all know, Rome wasn't built in a day, but your website will be ready in just a few seconds. So what we did was we built our own AI model that could understand your business category and your target demography. We scraped over 500,000 websites across the internet to build our own model. Now let's see what it came up with. So it, okay, it built, it is still generating pages. It will, so our own system will decide what kind of uh, colors would go with your uh, business niche and what are the pages is, uh, which are required by your business. So let's see. Okay, so it built these key features. And if you don't like anything, you can always regenerate it and our AI will regenerate it for you or if you want if you don't like what it is generating and want to give a very specific instruction 
you can give it to our AI. Let's say here we say laptop or, you know, you want an image of a laptop, you say add and it should generate it for you. Or if you want to upload something of your own, you can always do that. So this is the entire website that was built for you. These are some of the FAQs. And if you don't like what you see, you can always delete it. So the entire website is fully customizable. You can edit it. You can add item. Or you can add sections. The entire AI will build each and every section, each and every item for you. And you can always give your instruction to our AI to make it better. These are certain testimonials. So somebody really loved Savico. Okay. These are some of the stats. And it's just still generating pages. It built like a few pages like contact us, about us. So you can put your own pictures about your team. Then a pricing page, which you might need. So if you don't like what you see, you can always go on regenerate and regenerate the entire website. So this is what we are building with Butternut AI. And so it takes like less than 20 seconds to build a website. And if you want to take, a, a take it live, you just need to connect your domain name. You make some quick edits and you just go ahead, connect your domain name and your website will be live in just like five minutes and not five days or 50 days. So this is what we are building with Butternut AI. We are, we, w so this is what the problem we saw. That why even in 2024, building a website is still a daunting task. Why is it expensive? Why is it tough? Why is it slow? Nobody says, oh, wow, today I'm going to build a website. It's a delightful thing to do. Nobody. And we want to change that experience with Butternut AI. Because finding skilled developers is a frustrating process. And my own friend, friends, as I mentioned, they spent like thousands of dollars just to get a simple website made. Why? So we have all the intelligence in the world now to get it done for you with our AI model. And some people say, oh, you know what? My chat GPT can do it. But no, they can't do it. They can just give you some code snippets, but cannot build an entire SEO optimized website for you. So but making websites on Butternut is cheaper, faster, and less expensive. So let me tell you how we launched it and how it grew. So today we are standing at more than 200,000 users uh, who have built on Butternut. And the story is quite funny on how we grew. So first of all, when we started building, we knew this is a huge problem because I faced this problem a lot in my life. And I knew the market is huge, but it was like, okay, once I started building, I wanted to understand if I'm going in the right direction or not. If, you know, what I'm building is what customers want. So I remember it was like 8.30 at night where I put up this tweet where I say, hey, I built this AI-powered website builder, Butternut AI. Why don't you try it out and give me your feedback? Honestly, I was expecting like 30, 40 people would try it out and give me some genuine feedback. And But you know what? The, the tweet blew up. We got close to a million impressions. And... Our servers crashed because we were on the free tier of AWS. And honestly, you know what? People often say, oh, are you an influencer? But no, never ever in my life I had gotten more than five likes on my tweet. And honestly, all those people were my just friends. <laughs> um, so this blew up, actually, this tweet. And people started building different sorts of websites. And it gives us so much of insight on what people want in this world. And within 48 hours, we also launched on Product Hunt, and we became one of the top products uh, in the AI category or the top products on Product Hunt. So this is our journey, you know, how we started. We thought of a problem which we faced ourselves, and we saw other people also facing the same problem. And we built an MVP, like, and just launched it out in the world to see how it goes, if there are some real takers or not. And it worked. And then now we have spent a couple of last months to build the entire platform. Now, you know, I see a lot of people here or in the world. You all want, we all want to leverage AI because this is the revolution we are sitting in. And especially, you know, when we are sitting in SF, which is the epicenter 
of this AI revolution. I mean, we all have the opportunity to become the creator rather than just a consumer of AI. So how can all of us take leverage of this AI that's happening around us all the time? So first of all, I would say you should go and try each and every tool. It could be a tool that is used maybe, you know, maybe in digital marketing or in any area. You should go and try each and every tool. There are thousands of tools that are coming every day and try them out. See if they are solving a pain point. See if you can do something better. It will give you so many ideas. Because when we start building something, we always think, oh, I need to build something so innovative, something so sexy, so new. But honestly, when you are building a startup, you know, if you're doing something that is only better than the existing solution, you're going to do great. Uber wasn't the first uh, car sharing app or Airbnb wasn't the first vacation rental, but they did it well. They made it better than the existing solutions and they won the market. So when you are building something, don't think of a sexy idea. Look at the problems around you that you are facing, your friends are facing, or some people are facing in a community. Go solve, build for that and launch fast. Now, when it comes to, okay, you know, you might not be ready to start a startup of your own. So how can you leverage this AI sitting in SF? Well, you can do a lot. You know, if, if you don't want to build a product, you can help people who are building product by providing your services. So a lot of companies, especially the bigger ones, they're quite confused on how they can leverage AI. So sitting in SF, I think this is a huge opportunity where you can become an expert in AI by just talking to people, by learning what's happening, by exploring new tools. And you can help these bigger enterprises to solve their AI problem or to help them use AI into their system. Secondly, it's very early, right? Nobody is like, oh, I'm doing generative AI from last 10 years. <laughs> so it's new for everyone. So you can become a leader in this very quickly. So it's early days. You can just pick up this opportunity and bang. And third is, it's a great, great time. Either, you know, you can start your own fund, you can join a fund, or you can, you know, join a company that is working uh, in generative AI. Happy to, you know, uh, if you're seeking any jobs, happy uh, to talk to you regarding positions at Patanat AI. So this is all what's happening in the world. S SF is the epicenter building the AI revolution. We all, I would encourage everybody to take part in this and actually be a creator in it. Because one, you know, as an entrepreneur, one thing that often I feel is like uh, different from, I would say, each and every entrepreneur is quite optimistic because you're believing in something the world doesn't believe in, but you know you can make it possible and the world will start believing in you. So whenever there's a platform shift, you know, optimists and doers, they make money and they make impact. Pessimists and critics, they make headlines. So just remember, whenever a change is happening around you, think if this could happen, how the world will change. Be an optimist rather than a pessimist. Because when Steve Jobs, he launched iPhone, there were pessimists, you know, these newspapers printing, oh, who is going to buy this expensive phone? What is the use when we have Motorola and everything? But look at it, what it did. It changed our world. People who were optimists, they started building on the App Store and these revolutionary apps that we use every day like Uber, Instagram, Snapchat, Tinder, everything. Our lifestyle is dependent on this iPhone. So be an optimist in this AI revolution and start creating or exploring the AI world. Thank you. So we are adding up, you know, uh, a lot more options where you can customize according to styles and design that you want. But if you don't like what you see, you have a regenerate option on the top where you can regenerate the entire website and it will give out a new design. So uh, you can always click on regenerate and it will keep on giving you new, newer and different designs for your website and you can pick whichever you like. <music> Thank you.
yes yeah, we, we are launching that uh, that feature but a lot of the sec you know you can always customize the sections but uh rebranding the entire website we are uh sorry you know giving the design instructions as well we are incorporating that in the coming feature the key differentiation is i don't give you a blank template or a blank canvas to work on it's like our ai already understands the kind of business you are building and the target demography we don't ask you to work on seo so we our models are intelligent enough to build a website that resonates with your business category and your demography and you know the seo optimizations will always try to rank it higher and higher on google without you doing anything so that's the it's like a, an intelligent model versus uh, a blank canvas so that's what button at ai is building so it's a mix match of different things since you you need to build code f- from ground up then there's content images seo optimization so it's a mix match of building our own model uh by parsing 500000 websites across the internet to understand the business category and the structure of the website and we also use existing llms like open ai llama uh f- and do a lot of prompt engineering for the content i won't exactly call it a rag uh for content part yes it's like optimizing uh, you know building on top of uh, like fine tuning the ai model but for the code part we have built our own model so we have a subscription so if you want to take it live yeah you can just subscribe uh to our pro plan and we'll take care of everything regarding hosting ssl security privacy seo and everything you just need to get your domain name that's all so currently uh small business owners and startups are our target audience and they are using it in many different ways so people who already have existing businesses or people who have uh, who are starting up are using button art to get their business online not at this point of time but you can always add your own custom code uh inside the website like if you want to add calendly or google analytics you can always embed your code so uh with the seo part it is when you generate the page as i mentioned you know the ai uh, it tries to understand your business and demography or your tg as much as possible uh so we try to optimize for certain keywords that are used in t- to your website and whenever you you are regenerating content with our ai it is always giving you you know seo optimize um text for your tg or your business category but you are you you can always edit the text or if you have a better knowledge of the kind of keywords you want to target you can always insert it into that and using the dashboard you know you can target those seo keywords much better <laughs> yes so a lo- so a lot of agencies uh, they have been using buttonart ai to build for their clients so uh, you can build for your clients and uh, then you after you take your website live you get a dashboard login details through which your client can go and update anything they like as i showed the newer version the older version was more of a landing page but the newer version that we are releasing this week is the one i showed you is a multi page one where our system will only detect the kind of pages your business needs and build it for you but you'll always have the option to add more pages according uh, to your own needs as well no you can uh, go and edit each and every component on the website be it text images you can add items you can delete sections you can add your calendly you can add youtube videos everything is there you you just need to click a couple of buttons and everything will be done the most useful tool uh is definitely i've been uh trying different tools uh, one tool i really love uh is photo room ai it's for images and it's amazing uh, built by a friend a fellow yc founder 
Um, then secondly, obviously, chat GPT, like, how can we miss that, right? <laughs> so yeah, I think these are the two top tools uh, I use. Oh, I think AI, uh, if, as I mentioned, we are still in very nascent stage, but it is progressing very, very fast. And when it comes to where we are heading, so, you know, as I mentioned, like uh, in the future, we won't need a lot of coders. In fact, all of us will be by default coders and we'll be coding in natural language. So that is the ultimate vision where we built um, an agent that is so intelligent that you can just talk to it just the way you talk to a fancy, expensive developer. Uh, you talk to our AI agent and build a complex app like Uber or Airbnb on Butternut AI. Thank you.